This video is sponsored by Niba.com, the digital gaming marketplace with over 20,000 digital products across PC and consoles. Aniba.com has great deals on new and old titles, and it has an excellent Trustpilot score, so you can rest assured your gaming will continue without a hitch. Aniba.com believes that customers shouldn't worry if their code doesn't work. They offer 24-7 live support to clear any concerns you may have. Use the code OLDGAMING for a further discount. Now on to the video. So normally I'd be doing this video in December, but since the Vita store is now closed for new games, I guess it makes sense to do this now. In 2021, we've had 16 new games come to Vita on PSN. Now, I know that we're getting new physical games, and some of them are exclusively physical and not coming to PSN. I didn't want to count them in this list. Since those games are all limited print games, it means not everyone can get them. So I didn't want to include games that aren't actually available for people unless you were lucky enough to purchase them at the time. When we look at the 16 games that have come out, there are some really good games here. I've not finished Synergia, I've started it and I'm really enjoying it. I find the world and story really intriguing, but I didn't include it on this list because I didn't think I'm far enough in it to really make a judgement on how good it is. I also didn't include Witchcrafty on my list. I was going back and forth whether that should be the fifth game on this list, but I decided not to put it here. I did enjoy the graphics, gameplay and music, but because of the bugginess and because it is a really short game that isn't complete, I didn't think I should include it. I do still think it's a good game though guys, just like I said, very short and a bit buggy. So let's get to the top 5. Number 5, Sturmfront, The Mutant War. Sturmfront is a really fun twin stick shooter. I don't think it's necessarily the best twin stick shooter on the Vita, but it's good fun. You've got lots of enemies, boss fights and different weapons to pick up. I've enjoyed my time with it. Number 4 is Hybroxia 2. This is a big improvement on Hybroxia 1, and I think it's an excellent shoot 'em up. You've got so many bosses to fight and branching levels, and there's lots to do in this game. When I reviewed it, I said my one criticism was that it was too easy, but it's recently been patched to give an extra difficulty mode, so even that's been fixed. This is a great game guys, definitely worth picking up. The top 3 on this list, I was really questioning myself on this one. All 3 games are excellent, all 3 of them would probably make my top 25 list of games on the Vita. So it was a tough decision to order them. But here's what I decided. Number 3, Astro Aqua Kitty. Astro Aqua Kitty is a great shooter. You've got massive levels, big bosses, so much content, so much to do in this game. I love the graphics as well, I love the RPG systems where you're upgrading your weapons and your ship. This is a brilliant game, and it's really long too with levels getting bigger and bigger as you play. Number 2 is Scourgebringer. I played Scourgebringer on the Switch, and I loved it there and I still love it on the Vita. It's a brilliant roguelike game, with really fun and fast and fluid action. It's very challenging, but addictive and fun. Number 1. Russian Subway Dogs So on this list, it's probably the most simple in terms of the concept and the gameplay, but it's just so fun and so addictive that I just can't put it down. The aim is basically to scare people who are carrying food and grab it and survive until the last train appears. There's lots of objectives in each level and lots of really crazy and zany things to do, like barking at passengers carrying vodka to cause a fire which will kill other competing dogs. You can also kill bears and elks. It's just really, really good guys. And once you start playing, it's really hard to put down. I also find it really challenging, but in a good way that makes me want to keep on playing. I'm so glad that Russian Subway Dogs came to Vita. It came out on the last day of new Vita releases, and it turned out to be just a brilliant, brilliant game. So guys, let me know in the comments, of the 16 games that have come out for Vita this year, which ones are your favourite? And even though I didn't talk about those exclusive physical games, 
Let me know which ones of those you've liked so far. For me, Unmetal has been great, and Horizon Chase Turbo, although, ha although it has long load times, is also a really good game. Leave a comment below guys, and as always, thanks for watching.